Do you guys ever feel like you're really not sure whether you should or shouldn't be entering a trade? Feel like if you enter it, you're doing the wrong thing. If you don't enter it, you're doing the wrong thing. You just have no confidence whether you should or shouldn't be entering. Well, today I'm going to be outlining three simple processes I think of before I enter my trades in order to make sure that I have confidence I'm entering the right trade and I stay away from the wrong ones. So like I mentioned before, the whole point of this three-step process is so that when you enter a trade, you have confidence that you should be entering this trade. It's so simple. You can execute it over and over and over again. There's no doubt about is this right or is this wrong? That's the point of the simplicity. Every time I enter a trade, I think to myself, do I have these three things? And if I do, I enter it. I have the confidence to enter it because I know there's a high probability this is going to work. If it doesn't, 100% fine. That's what this game is. We lose, we win, but we need to play the numbers. Okay? And this three-step process allows me to find the highest probability setups so that the numbers are in my favor. First one is structure. Second one, behavior. And the third one is momentum. We're not looking at any indicators. We're just looking at the market and these candlesticks. So let's start with structure. To keep it simple, structure is just higher highs and higher lows and lower lows and lower highs. That's all it is. So if we're looking at this uptrend on the left over here in terms of structure, we can look at two levels, the higher high and the higher low. If we're looking at this downtrend over here, we can look at the lower low and we can look at the lower high. You guys are probably thinking like, cool, whatever, but what can we do with this structure? Well, the main reason we want to identify structure is so that we can see the overall market bias. I usually use the four hour time frame to identify my structure. You can use whatever time frame you want. It's completely up to you. I just like the four hour. I can see a clear picture of the market and I don't have to look at the charts all day. Once we have identified these key structural levels, we wait for price. For me, it's the four hour to break and close above or below these key levels. So you can see it here, break or close above or below. What I mean by this, so we have the higher high right here. Okay. So if we were to push up and then break and close somewhere over here on the four hour, we would have bullish structure because we've broken and closed above the previous structure. If we were to trade some sort of reversal setup, we see price push up, we break below the previous higher low structure. So remember, this is also a structure. We are now in a bearish structure, okay, in a reversal structure. If we're looking at a downtrend and we were to break and close above this previous lower low structure, we close up out here, we have bearish structure. Same thing if we were to trade a reversal and we were to push up, break above the previous lower high which is also a structure, we now have bullish structure if we break and close above that key level. Okay, so let's pretend price has broken, closed above or below the key levels on our four hour time frame or whatever time frame you're using, we can now scale down to our lower time frame, which is our entry time frame. For me, the one hour, and we can look at step two, which is behavior. What I mean by behavior is simply to see that price is respecting what the overall structure is doing. That is, if the structure is bullish, is the behavior also bullish in that we're making higher highs and higher lows? Same thing if we were in a bearish structure, are we making lower lows and lower highs? Let's pretend the, the structure that we've broken is somewhere over here. Similarly, over here, it's somewhere here. Okay, we can see that we are indeed behaving bullish. Price is behaving bullish because we're making higher highs and higher lows. Okay, so this wouldn't have formed yet. All you'd be seeing is this. We have a higher high right here, higher low, higher high, higher low. Okay, so that's bullish. Now, if we look bearish, this wouldn't have formed yet. Um, we have a lower low right here, a lower high, and now a lower low. That's bearish. Okay, um, let's say it was a reversal. It still applies. Price would be pushing here, creating a structural low, make a higher high, a higher low, and a higher high. That's that break and close. Behavior is still bullish. We can see that higher high, higher low, higher high. Okay, if it was a reversal on the bullish side, be doing something like this, fail to make new highs, make a new lower low, and then a new lower high. Okay, so we're still bearish. Regardless of whether we're trading reversal or continuation, the behavior has to be in line with the overall structure. And the way you identify that is just simply looking at whether the 1H is making higher highs or higher lows. Well, now that we can identify the behavior, the next thing we need to identify is that price is creating a momentum shift. 
Now, what this means is that price is actually going to create that retest back to structure. The momentum shift shows us that price is ending that exhaustion and going to begin that new push phase off of this key level and push higher. Okay, if we're looking here, the momentum shift happens and bang. Okay, and this is where we profit. Okay, so that's why it's so important to be able to identify this momentum shift. How do we look for momentum shifts? Well, I use three things. Um, the first one is wick rejections. Go over these in a second. The second is patterns like double top and bottom. Excuse my spelling, you guys get it. And the third one is engulfing, engulfing candles. Okay, so cool. But what do we wanna see is First of all, the structure is bullish. Then we scale down to our lower time frame. We see higher highs and higher lows. So the behavior is bullish. But how do we identify price is going to continue? Well, we look at these key levels. And if price is showing evidence of any of these, we can identify a possible momentum shift occurring and price is going to continue to push bullish where we profit. If it's bearish, we want to see wicks forming in this area, pushing price down. We want to see double tops and we want to see engulfing candles that show the momentum is going to continue bearish and the overall structure is going to continue. Think about it in three steps and everything has to line up with each other. The structure is bearish, the behavior has to be bearish and the momentum has to be bearish. The structure is bullish. The behavior has to be bullish and the momentum has to change from bearish to bullish. I know it sounds like a mouthful, but we'll go over some examples right now and we'll make it clear. Okay, so the first example we're going to look at is a bearish continuation. Now, obviously, I'm in replay, so I know exactly what's going to happen, but let's break it down. Let's just get these over here so we can look at these three steps. So first of all, let's identify the structure. I've already done it for you. But if we look on the line chart, we can just see we create that lower low, lower high. Let's see what happens next. So the structure is at this lower high, lower low, pardon me, and this lower high. Okay, so that's the only structure we're actually looking at. Let's see if we get a break below or above and see what happens. So we're still ranging. Now we can see we've broken and closed below the previous lower low. That means we're in a bearish structure. So we can flip to our lower time frame, which is our one hour. Now we need to look for bearish behavior. So let's have a look at this. What can we see first of all? We have a structural high right over here. Then we push down, we make a lower low. We push up, we make a lower high. Now we're making a new lower low. Now we're making a new lower high. Okay, so you can clearly see that on the lower time frames, we have lower lows and lower highs, which fits with the overall structure is bearish okay so we have bearish structure at this stage and bearish behavior okay so let's look at this momentum shift now remember weak rejections engulfing candles and patterns okay so we can already start to see some wicks form and we can already see an engulfing candle so what am i going to do i'm going to take the cell damn right okay i have my three things i'm ready to go um you know we have bearish structure, we have bearish behavior, and now we have evidence of a bearish momentum shift. If we go for our one, let's go for a one to two, just because to play it safe. Um, stop loss safely above structure. And you can see even on the line chart, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, everything's bearish, okay? Let's see what happens. So now we've actually even created a double top as well. Okay, so remember the three things or momentum shifts is weak rejections, engulfing candles, double tops, double bottoms. So you can see everything right there. So if you really wanted to, I guess you could enter again right there, stop loss above this structure, and you go for your one to three, why not, okay? We got there in the end, okay? That is how simple it is. Obviously not the cleanest trade, but we got there. Okay, we had the bearish structure on the 4H, the bearish behavior on the 1H, and then we finally have bearish momentum shift on the one hour time frame.